Hey Grace family, I just wanted you to know that I love you and I'm still praying for you and thinking about you in these unsettling times. And I just wanted to let you know I'm feeling it myself. I'm a creature of habit, I like routine, and it just seems like everything that was normal is not normal. Everything that we didn't have to think about, we have to think about. Everything's changing. And so even for myself, I have felt so jittery and unsettled on the inside. And so I wanted to let you know something that I've been doing that I wanted to recommend to you. All kinds of things have changed. My routine has changed, what I can do as a pastor, where I can do it, how I can do it. But here's what hasn't changed. Oh my goodness. I'm still sitting down early in the morning with God's Word to just settle my own soul. And it doesn't have to be 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be an hour. Just a few minutes to quiet your insides. And I'm telling you what, I have literally felt the RPMs of my soul that have been spinning with what about, what about, what about, conferences I need to cancel, tickets that need to be refunded, people that I need to reach out to. It's just, my mind has just been racing, as well as all the concerns for our church family. And this has been so good. It's always good. But in times like this, it's even better. So I wanted to literally just give you an example of what I'm talking about. Today was my normal Bible reading. This is my daily Bible. And where I was supposed to read for today already, God used it. And He, he so often does that. He'll just use where you were planning to read anywhere, anyway. So I just wanted to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Today, listen to this. Today, I was supposed to read Psalm 37. Listen to what this says in verse 4. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on His faithfulness. And I just sat there. If you're wondering, what does Brad mean when he talks about reading your Bible? I don't rush through. I just sit there and say, all right, Lord, I want to trust you. I'm choosing to trust you and do good. Lord, show me how to do good. Even if it's in ways that are different than what I used to be able to do, I still want to do good. And dwell in the land. We're still here. This is the land we have. This is what's going on now. And feed on His faithfulness. And I just sat and thought about what I could be thankful for that is still okay, that we still have, that I still have food, that I still have safe shelter with a home, that so far I still have a job. Feed on His faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Just two verses from Psalms that just settled me. This same day, this morning, I was supposed to read Luke 1. And it's the account of the angel Gabriel coming to Mary. Imagine a teenage girl being told, you are going to be pregnant, even though you don't have a husband, and, and the one that you birth is going to be the Son of the Most High. Now, you think your mind is whirling right now and my mind is whirling right now with what about, what about, what about? Imagine a teenage girl, probably 14, 15, 16 years old, hearing this. The question she would have, the sense of uncertainty and being unsettled and not knowing what's coming and how this is all going to work out. And I just put myself in her place. This is what it means to read God's Word and apply it to your life, you guys. I just thought... If Mary could be such an example to me that she just quieted herself and literally, verse 37, I think it is, tells us, she simply said, let it be to me according to your word. In other words, I got no more questions. I'm just going to take you at your word. I'm going to trust that it will be okay. You are God. So I had Mary this morning from Luke 1. And I said, all right, Lord, let it be to me according to your word. I have promises from your word. I don't see the future. I don't know what's happening tomorrow. I don't know what we'll be allowed to do or not do as a church or businesses. But I have you and I have your word. Let it be to me according to your word. Oh, you guys, right now, more than ever, please, I love you so much. I wish I could be there and just read the Bible to you, but I can't. Set aside some time. I think about Mary and Martha, a different Mary, who had a sister named Martha. 
And in Luke chapter 38, I mean Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 41, it shows the contrast between these two sisters. And Martha, Jesus said, was worried and distracted about many things. I, I feel that right way right now, and I bet you do too. But then Mary was sitting at His feet, and Jesus said, Mary has chosen that best part that can never be taken away from her. I got to choose it, you guys. I can't just wake up and rush into my day saying, oh, now I need to, and I should call so-and-so, and ha, oh, ha. Oh. That's how I feel right now. But I have to choose that best part and sit in my chair and open my Bible and calm myself and say, God, speak to me, and then slow down and seek to apply it to my own life. And then I've just been holding my hands out and saying, God, I trust you. Fill me with your spirit today. Settle my heart. Use me for your glory. I want to conclude by recommending something else. I'm telling you what, you know I love music. You know I listen to secular music. I listen to classical music. I listen to all kinds of music. But during times like this, I want to get as much of God's Word in my head and heart as possible. I'm listening to Christian music straight up right now. And let me recommend a song that was written by our very own team, Brad and Janelle Spence. And I believe Allie Patterson from our church is the vocal singing. It is a song they wrote called In the Quiet. Oh my goodness. I'm listening to it over and over. I would encourage you to do the same. Download it from wherever you can get it in the quiet. I'm going to close by reading the lyrics for you. It is a choice I have to make to marvel at my God to set aside some precious time for something more than gold. I know the stock market's in a free fall. Don't be looking at your accounts every day. That won't help. I need to set aside some precious time for something more than gold, to sink my thoughts in waters deep and find your presence there, a solid ground, a lasting hope, a joy beyond compare. He will meet me in the quiet when my heart can hear His voice. He will be there in the silence when I've left behind the noise. You've got to turn off the TV. You've got to shut down the blogs. You've got to shut down the 24-hour news. Stay up. Know what's going on. But you don't need to have it on day and night. Turn it off. When I've left behind the noise, oh, I need you. Oh, I seek you in the quiet. I love you. God is going to see us through this. God is with us. God is working in us and through us. And God is still for us. Let's be examples of His people during this unsettling time. I love you.